If you are interested in scientific research, you may have heard the term systematic review. Now in this video, I'm going to explain to you what a systematic review is. The Johanna Briggs Institute defines a systematic review as follows. Systematic reviews are aimed at providing a comprehensive and unbiased synthesis of large numbers of relevant studies within the confines of a single document by using rigorous and transparent methods. So how does this systematic review get put together? So researchers take a large number of separate individual studies which are relevant to answer a answering a specific research question. And they take each of these separate research studies and combine them into one single document. This is an example of a systematic review of all these studies being combined into this one single document. Now I'm going to just zoom into the systematic review and just show you what it looks like on the inside. So open in front of me is a systematic review. And even from the title, you can see what this systematic review is all about. Investigating measurement properties of physiological tests in rugby. Now, sometimes you'll see in the title of a systematic review, it will say systematic review and meta-analysis. That and meta-analysis just means that additional statistical testing was done to pull together all the different relevant studies st statistics into one. So you scroll down and you find the abstract. Always a good part to read to find out if this systematic review is really what you were looking for. And then you'll find the background also typical of a research article. And then in a systematic review, the methods are written in quite a bit of detail, especially which databases were searched for these individual relevant studies, um, which keywords were used, the selection criteria, um, how articles were selected to be included, how the articles and the data from the articles were extracted, the information was extracted to be included in the systematic review, and then you'll get to the results page, the results section, where the, there will be a description of the included studies and the physiological characteristics of the corresponding test, the, the aim of the systematic review and those data that got extracted from the individual studies will just be summarized in the results section. Now this is a, a Prisma flow diagram which just explains that how many studies were included and searched for and found in the different databases and what happened to them as they went through the process of filtering them out to get to 70 articles which got included in the systematic review. Then the tables inside a systematic review are very valuable. It summarizes all the studies that have been included in the systematic review. So you can always find every single separate study and go and read up on the research methods that they used and their specific findings. Then one very important area of a, the systematic review that you need to read and I would say that you scroll down to once you're done with the results section is the discussion. Now in the discussion the researchers give you a very good overview and interpretation of the results. So that's where you get a piece of the researcher's mind and these researchers putting together these systematic reviews they're really experts in the topic so you can learn a lot from them. So this discussion section is really valuable. And then you can further scroll down to the conclusion, which also give you more insight into what the systematic review found and then where the authors conclude on the systematic review. So systematic reviews are really a good type of research to read, especially if you want to learn more about a research topic. I would suggest that you first find a systematic review on the topic if that is available and then familiarize yourself with the separate studies. So enjoy, have fun.